This is Mr. Chai Pie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pine tree or any other type of cone-shaped Christmas tree for your video games in Blender. All right, so we start with making the trunk, which is basically a very tall cone. So I'm going to grab a cylinder to start with, and I'll set it to eight vertices. And I'm going to scale it down a bit, delete the bottom face, and then I'm going to drag up this, adding a few loop cuts by pressing Control R and scrolling it up, and then grab this top one, hit Alt M at center, and then I can just scale down these as it goes. and try to actually select that. <laughs> and then maybe at the base I could drag one of these a little out to add a bit of a Rudy look. Maybe do that. And then set a smooth shading. And this will be our trunk. All right, next for the leaves, we're going to simply add in a plane, tab into edit mode, scale it down, drag it off to the side a bit, scale it a little bit more, go about that. And then I'm going to drag this up to where the bottom layer of branches start. And then I'm going to go back to having to edit mode and hit control R, scroll up and drag this down a bit. Maybe make this one go up a little to get the kind of curvy shape of the leaves. And next I'm going to set to smooth and hit U, unwrap. And then I'm going to go to the UV editing. And for this one, I'm going to drag it up to the top. Next, go into an image editor such as Photoshop or Krita. This is the texture I made for the last one's leaf. Not very good. It's a pro tip you could do better. But this shows that you can get a decent result even if you aren't all that good. So for this, all I really did was take a green color. For this particular one, I'm going to go a little bit lighter to have a bit more variation. And then I simply just started to draw out the basic shape of one of the, of the uh, branches. Now you could do this part into br in brown and add leaves on top. And then I went and Maybe make it a little smaller and I just go in and add the leafy bits on top of the branch. Realistically you would want these to be thinner but realistically you would want these to be thinner but this is a more stylized one so it works okay. Now, if you're going for more realistic, you might want to either take an actual photo of a branch yourself by finding one that's fallen or cutting one off a tree and then putting it up against a blank background like a piece of piece a large piece of paper or whatever, and then photoshopping it out the sides. Uh, preferably take the photo on an overcast day so you don't get a lot of shadows that are kind of odd and inconsistent. You could also just find one online that has a like Creative Commons license or whatever so that it's okay for you to use it.
maybe uh, another Definitely do a better job painting your texture than me, and you'll have much better results. But this will do for the tutorial. Um, one idea could be to add like a gradient to make it more interesting looking, like maybe going, making it darker, brighter towards the middle. And then just kind of blurring it through. I'll save it as a PNG too. And then I'm going to save and I'm going to revert so that I can get the texture back. And then I'm going to simply set it to the leaf's texture and find that it's backwards. So I'm going to rotate 180 degrees. All right. So next up, what you need to do is you need to use Alt D specifically. Make sure to use Alt D instead of Shift D, and then just rotate it around the Z axis a few times. Let me make sure that I. Yeah, I forgot to use Alt D. So. Make sure to actually follow my instructions and do it. And then I'm going to maybe give a little bit of a different amount of rays to each of these, which will add a little bit of variation when you, when you um, see it from the side, make it look more full with less amount of leaves, so you don't have to use as many polys. And then I'm going to take each of these and I hit Alt D. And I'm simply going to go up. I'm going to scale these ones out a little bit. Just for the top. Just for the bottom layer so I can get the curve. And I'm going to rotate. Z. Do it again. And then keep on going. Maybe uh, go back to the default view instead of the UV editing. Now I found that a lot of these will get a little thinner towards the top, so I can maybe make bigger gaps. I'm just going to grab these since I forgot to rotate them. All right, and then you're going to select all and unselect this. All right, quick tip that I forgot. You should press space or tilde if you're in a later version after 2.8 of Blender. And that will bring up your search. And what you can do is you can type in random. Uh, and there should be a random transform or random translate. And you can click on that. And then you can use the... Um, rotation and randomly rotate them to add more variation. And then I'm going to join these. And I'm going to go into the modifiers and I'm going to choose a simple deform. Just here. Going to choose the trunk as the 
axis origin, go to taper, and put a negative taper to make it go up like a Christmas tree. Now you can see that this one doesn't have enough leaves, so to make it look more full, I can simply go into here, select all, shift D, drag it up, rotate a little, and add more. All right. I'm going to show in the layer with my plane and with my light. This gives you an idea what it looks like. As we're already going fairly high, I can add just a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and export this into the engine. And then I can throw the pine tree in. One thing I forgot to do was that I forgot to vert text paint it so that I can mask off where the wind goes so it doesn't wind at the very bottom of the trunk. So to do that, you simply go into your thing, hit, uh, hit um, vertex paint, and then I'm going to go and hide the planes that are used for our leaves, and simply go and paint the bottom with black. And then getting progressively lighter as it goes up to the top until it gets to white. At the top. Like that. And then I can go in and uh, add the planes. And vertex paint that. Again, with black near the bottom. And again, progressively lighter as it gets closer to the top. And then maybe turning the strength down so that I can not have it be so harsh in the transition in the transition all right so that's good and then i can go to object mode and select these two and re-export and now it's masked so it only blows near the top and not a ton near the bottom I think we can make this tree look a little bit more full by simply going in and adding more to the leaves. And resaving that. And I'll make it look a little bit more full. For the material, make sure to use spell leaves right. And I just used the texture as a base color and I multiplied that into the emissive and subsurface and used an opacity mask from the alpha and I used some wind multiplied by vertex color into the world position offset and I have it set to blend mode masks shading model two-sided and two-sided foliage and then checked off two-sided that was Mr. TriPi and thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider leaving a comment, maybe letting me know what you might want for a future video, and then like and subscribe. And consider clicking on the next video. Thank you.